Hey everybody, my name is Rick Udfler and we're here for another episode of Aragon Web and today I brought my buddy Aaron. Aaron, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing, Rick? I'm doing really well. Now, Aaron has been kicking around for what? Two years now? Two or three years, man. It's, you know, it's been it's, a while. It's been a while. It's hard to keep track of everything. And you started out with what? I've started out with an 85 brake barrel. Yeah, a Hot Mod 85. 85. Was yeah. it a sniper? No, it was not. Just a regular? Okay. Just standard 85. Well, you start out with a brake barrel, and I remember, because mm -hmm. at the time we were trying to do bench rest, yeah. and you tried to shoot bench rest. Yeah. And, and, and how'd that go? It, it went terribly. I thought I was trying to be Ricky Sniper. And, yeah, uh, no, it didn't work, did no. it? And it's not that that's a bad gun, it's just no. you got to pick the right gun for the job. Exactly. I had chosen the wrong gun for the wrong competition. Yeah. Great gun for plinking in the backyard, but if you're trying to shoot competition bench rest, a no. brake barrel's probably not going to get it done. A spring gun's probably not your best choice. You want to go to PCP. That's kind of what we're going to talk about today. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Right, Aaron. So let's talk PCPs. After you finished up with your brake barrel experience, yeah. you still shoot brake barrels. I do. I do uh, occasionally go back to a brake barrel. Yeah. You like that new swarm? I do. I do yeah. really like the swarm. It's definitely been, you know, um, spoiled with the PCPs, but it's always good to go back to the brake barrel, and that swarm definitely helps with that ten shot right. rotary mag. So we we brake barrels are still good, guys. Yes, don't, don't think we're saying don't no. shoot brake barrels, okay? But PCPs do take things to the next level. They're super easy to shoot. They don't have the double recoil. You don't have to be so concerned with that super critical artillery hole technique. They're very, very, almost like you say, just like shooting a rimfire. Yeah. So if you're used to shooting a powder burner like 22 long rifle or even bigger, you know, mm -hmm. you're used to rimfire or centerfire rifles, a PCP is going to give you that same type of shooting experience, just minus the recoil. Exactly. And minus the noise, which is pretty... You know, that's pretty cool if you want yeah. to shoot in your backyard. Yeah, absolutely. Now, when it comes to PCPs, however, Aaron, and you know this, mm -hmm. there's this one little problem. <laughs> yeah, and it seems to happen a lot. Yeah, you need to fill them. Okay, yeah. so that's, you know, the big mystery is how do you fill the guns? Now, years ago when I started, in fact, that old yellow tank back there, that's an old scuba tank. That's my very first scuba tank I got from Pyramid Air some, must be seven, eight years ago. Yeah, it's been a long time so since, yeah i mean yeah. that's been here since you've been around obviously yeah. but i drugged that all the way from south carolina and that was great Three thousand psi fills your guns up a bunch of times it was a it was a great option and then i got set up with the carbon fiber tanks 4500 psi you know a lot of volume much higher pressure you get a lot more fills that's mm -hmm. all great i mean having a tank is awesome but you got to get your tanks filled yep and that's what we're really going to be talking about today is how do you fill your guns? How do you fill your tanks? And this year at SHOT Show, guys, it was the year of the Game Changers. Mm -hmm. um, Gamble had their multi-shot. We were talking about the Swarm. Hatsan, we've got it hanging up there. The Barrage, semi-automatic. Yes, we're going to be reviewing that. Settle down, folks. We're going to get that very soon. All in due time. <laughs> we've even got the Benjamin Wildfire, the, the semi-automatic over here. So we had semi-automatics. We had more big bores coming out. Back here, we've got the Hot Sun Hercules in 45. We had a lot of really cool things hitting the market, and all of these guns need air. Mm -hmm. And some of these guns need a lot of air. Yes. And, you know, the Hill Pump, great product. Super awesome product, but I guarantee you, if it was up to me to have it be up to Aaron to fill all our guns up every time we go out shooting, we wouldn't do much shooting, would we? No, we wouldn't. I would be tuckered out, and I would definitely not be shooting. Yeah, so really, you got to get tanks. So before you go and buy a tank, especially the 4500 mm -hmm. PSI tanks, make sure you can get them filled locally. You know, you can go to a scuba shop. Sometimes they'll do it. Um, air supply, like the yep. gas, like welding supply store, sometimes they'll do it. Paintball shops may do it, but you got to do that research before you spend the money on the tank. Absolutely. Until this year. Yes. See, before, if you wanted a compressor, there really weren't a lot of options. No. And the ones that there were out were, you know, you're going to have to spend some yeah. definite coins. I mean, like a, a traditional, you know, good HPA compressor, like one that you want to have and want to run, $3,500, bucks, 4 grand. That's, that's just outside of the realm of doability yeah. for most people. 
Now, I purchased a custom-built one from a guy. It's been working great, but it's mm -hmm. noisy, very noisy, and it requires 220. And I had to have some special wiring done in my shop here, and, and it works. It does. Yeah. It works good, and it's filled a lot of tanks. Um, but even that was almost two grand to get it to the door, and that was a bargain. Air Venturi this year, again, get back to the year to game change. Mm -hmm. Air Venturi this year has come out with their compressor. This guy's around the $1,300 price point. And let me tell you what, this thing gets it done. Absolutely. It's water cooled. You got a, a water tank in here. It's got a radiator that just blows when you turn it on. It's got an oil reservoir over on the other side so that it stays lubricated. And here it actually has a filtration and condensing tower. So everything you want in a compressor mm -hmm. that you need in a compressor, this thing's got it for a fraction of what it used to cost. Now, I was kind of curious, will this really hold up? Because I've seen some out there that look just like this that say you can't fill anything more than these little pony bottles or you'll burn the compressor up. This one, that's not a problem. Nope, not even in the slightest. They have done, the, they have done this one absolutely right. They did the research. They had it built very well, and they're supporting it here locally here in the States. This guy, we filled the big bottles. We filled the bigger bottles. I've filled scuba tanks. We've filled the little bottles. Heck, we've even hooked guns directly up to this and just filled them, and it just works. And it works very well, and it fills very quickly. Again, some of the other options on the market in that $1,000 mm -hmm. to $2,000 price point have filled guns, but they've been either extremely dirty and require a ton of maintenance, yep. or they're just very, very slow. This does require maintenance, as everything does. you got to change your oil when you need to. you got to change your desiccant pack and, mm -hmm. uh, and clean out the condensing tower when you need to. But it's relatively quiet, mm -hmm. and it fills very quickly. Let's talk a little bit about fill times. All right, so that little pony bottle. It's a 90 cubic inch pony bottle. You're looking at less than 15 minutes from empty mm -hmm. to full. And that Bottom includes, yeah, that from empty to full. Now, these are a great option to take out. Hand me that bottle real quick. Yep. Like these guys here are a great option to take out to the field. They've got a new connector. Hand me that too. All right, so Aventuri just had this redesigned. So instead of a big block sitting on top of this, you've got something that is far more usable. Look at that. That's much smaller, much nicer. It's way nicer. So this thing, and that $300 price point, yeah. throw it in your backpack, and you've got enough air to top off three or four or five times depending on your rifle. Exactly. That's a great solution. So I'll hand that back to you. The next thing you bump from there, you go to the 74 cubic foot. Now, I think this really, for the money, is the best value. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I agree 100%. I think these are less than $600, includes everything. You have the tank and the fill kit, the valve, the whole deal. Uh, that is a super, super value, and you're going to get a ton of top-offs. Depending on your rifle, you're probably going to get 50, 60 top-offs with mm -hmm. this tank, which is a lot. It's a lot of air for your air gun. Now, as far as filling this from empty, you can do this in about an hour. That's still pretty fast. Not 24 hours like some of the other stuff. Mm -hmm. You do it in an hour. And it does get warm. So after it cools down, you're going to see the pressure down a little bit. Hit it with another seven minutes still under an hour. And you have 4,500 PSI that you can take out to the field. You're talking about how quickly this system fills. It's very quick. It is very fast. It's not quite as fast as my custom-built compressor, but it's within a few minutes. It's very, very good. Yeah, and it's much, much quieter. Super quiet. Which is, yeah. I think, one of the best points it has. And it's 110. Now, you know, mm -hmm. That's a huge deal because you don't need any sort of special outlet. So this is 110, quiet enough we can have a conversation in the same room with it running. Mm -hmm. Can't do that with the other one at all. Nope. So super awesome. Now. Talk a little bit about how this works. It is about as easy as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. So we've got different bottles here. These little ones fill to 4,500. That fills to 3,000. Some guns are 2,000. Some are 3,000. Some are, some are 3,300. The new mm -hmm. hot sound we got here is 36, almost 3,700. This does have auto shut off, something my other one doesn't. All you got to do is use this dial right here. Mm -hmm. You set it where you want it. And you don't want to just leave it unattended. You don't no. want to do that. You're going to want to, you know, you check, check on it every it, right. now and then. But it does just get to the right point, shuts off. So operation is pretty simple. You go ahead and turn on your cooling system. Make sure everything's running. You'll hear it. We don't have a plug-in right now, but you guys get the idea. It'll start running. 
Uh, make sure that you're all connected up. Make sure that your bleed valve is shut off. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're set, you've got your pressure set. You flip it to on, and you just and wait. It runs. Yeah, that's it. And it just boom. A few minutes later, you're gonna have a full tank. And mm -hmm. that, boys and girls, yes. <laughs> is pretty stinking awesome. Yeah, it is. That is again what I call game changer. Now these things, as far as I'm concerned, are, have really changed. Again, I keep going back to that game changer. Yeah, I mean. But this, it has, it really has. It does, it does. Get. It's a lot of money, okay? If you're if you're just getting into PCPs, you haven't been into it for a while, you're thinking $400 per gun or six or $700 per gun and $1,300 for compression, that's just too much money. Well, give you about two or three years of shooting mm -hmm. and you're going to find a buddy and you're going to find another buddy and you three buddies are going to go and you're going to get one of these units. Yeah, It's absolutely. just going to do it. Yeah. Because once you have the ability to keep your own tanks filled, your shooting is, I mean, the amount of time and enjoyment you're going to get out of shooting is just going to be that much better because you're not always going to be thinking, oh, I got to get my tank filled. Yeah. Where, when am I going to be able to do that? Where am I going to be able to do that? Well, you can do it at home now. Yeah. Small clubs. This thing is phenomenal and it has really held up. We have filled a ton of tanks. Now, when you get this unit, you will have to do a little assembly. I'm not going to get into all that because Pyramid Air has already done a whole series mm -hmm. on this compressor and filling guns and all kinds of cool stuff. You guys can go watch that. I wanted to give you just some a quick overview mm -hmm. and tell you guys personally how excited I am for this product yeah. to hit the market. This this compressor really impresses me more and more every time. Yeah. It. I guess that's all we really need to talk about, Aaron. Yeah, I mean, we really could talk about this all day long, but I think we got the gist of it yeah, for it's, everybody. It's an amazing product. If you guys have any questions, go to you know pyramidair.com. Look at their video section. They got a whole bunch of stuff on this. Don't want to just double duty on that. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to tell you guys how great of a product this thing is. My name is Rick Houston with Aragon Web. And I'm Aaron the Barbarian with Aragon Web TV. Thanks for watching. Like that. Yep. And we're going to put the glue this one. Kick on. Yep. Everything's a rolling. Temperature is good. What pressure do we want to set it to? I've got it set already. It's going to the bar. All right. Let's try. There you go. Oh my goodness, what's happening? It's filling, we're filling air. 